All right, ladies and gentlemen, in this case, um, now what we're going to be doing is finding the center, the foci, the vertices, and the co-vertices. So I didn't write down the steps um, in on your note, so this is going to be kind of uh, the first thing that I'm going to go over is at least kind of write down the steps. So step number one, what we want to do is just identify A, B, and the, um, actually, identify the major axis orientation. So let's just ask ourselves a question. Look, based on this equation, can we determine if there is a, if our major axis is horizontal or vertical? Horizontal or vertical? Well, we have an A squared and we have a B squared, right? Which one is always larger? A squared. A squared. So the larger number is under the which variable? Oh. Y. So we have our A squared is under the Y, so that means our major axis is going up and down. Does that make sense? Right. So we can say that the major axis is vertical. Now, you don't really need to write this down, but um, I think that's very helpful. So therefore, for step number two, which you could really just use as step number one, is to identify your A, B, um, and vertex. So um, we could say that a squared is equal to 9. So therefore, a is equal to 3. b squared is equal to 4. So b is equal to 2. And our vertex is our hk. But remember, it's x minus h, y minus k, right? And there's not minus anything. So this problem's not too bad, 0 comma 0. Correct? All right, step number three is to find the uh, missing, if you have any missing value, or I'll just say uh, determine C. So remember, there's that equation that we used. C squared equals A squared minus B squared. And we need to figure out what C squared is. So C squared equals um, A, which is 9, minus 4. C squared equals 5. C equals the square root of 5. Sorry. Yeah, it's plus or minus. And does that make sense for C to be plus or minus? Because C can go in the positive direction or the negative direction, right? So that's why it's plus or minus, both directions, right? Um, so we found it determined C. So in this case, C equals the square root of 5. So again, you have to use this formula. You guys are going to want to remember this. OK, and then step number five is I think it's helpful um, to plot the information to find them. Uh, you don't have to technically do this one. Plot the center. Not did I write vertex up there? No. Yes, I did. We are not. We don't have a vertex. We have a center, right? I always 